the Cowichan Valley Regional District. It's a sprawling area on South Vancouver Island with a lot of communities, a lot of totems, and the world's largest hockey stick, but not for much longer. There's certainly going to be some, uh, I think, some wet ice and some tears shed. That is Tom Duncan, a counselor in the city of Duncan, which is only the sixth most absurd thing about this story. You see, for decades, the Cowichan Community Centre has been home to the world's largest hockey stick. It came from Expo, which had all sorts of weird stuff, like an astronaut that never flew, or a weird floating McDonald's. And after Expo, cities from across British Columbia tried hard to recruit the giant hockey stick. But it was eventually given to North Cowichan, just north of Duncan. And despite challenges to its throne over the years, it has been the world's biggest for more than three decades. Until now. And it's for two very different reasons. The woodpecker attack. Yes, the woodpecker attack. It was like, what the heck is going on up there, mister? Last year, a northern flicker started striking away at the stick, accelerating the wear and tear on the structure. The community has put in a lot of effort to keep it in the condition the, that it was in. But, you know, after 36 odd years, it's starting to show its age. And secondly, the town of Lockport, Illinois, announced they would be coming for Duncan's ice crown. So the regional district studied how much it would cost to refurbish the stick to deal with the woodpeckers and to elongate the stick to deal with Lockport. The estimate was just over a million dollars. Consultations were done and the people spoke. There was almost 3,300 uh, responses and 70% indicated that uh, it was just not in the cards to keep the stick. And what was the biggest reason? Here is a chart. It shows the amount Cowichan Valley Regional District is expected to get in revenue next year and the amount it would cost to keep the world's biggest hockey stick. Duncan said the cost was the thing they heard about most and that the money could go to upgrades to the building itself, a new HVAC system, or enhanced recreational opportunities across the Cowichan Valley. There certainly will be some tears shed but uh, in the interests of uh, wisely uh, taking care of taxpayers' money, we really didn't have uh, much option. As a result, the district is selling the stick, though not without some sentiment. We would like to see it go to a good home. So in many ways, this is a typical government story of priorities and trade-offs, of consultation and infrastructure. And while you may be sad that BC will no longer have the biggest hockey stick, we still have the world's largest burl, tin soldier, tandem axum truck, cross-country skis, and paddle. And that's something Lockport and Woodpeckers can never take away from us. Justin McElroy, CBC News, Vancouver.